Okay, just before we flip a page, hover, link for the Milbro website. The team, Keith Dyson, I described him here as a BCA legend, British Casual Association as was. Mark Clark, Team England. Initial G, really awesome design. And of course, introducing Slingshot Stig. Some say. <laughs> Flip the page. On the left of your picture there is the advert from Lumbro. Lumbro's story of the Fionde, the Italian for Slingshot. Like every story, ours begins with a once upon a time when in an old abandoned courtyard stones were collected that were as round as possible. We tried to emulate the deeds of ancient warriors who, with their slingshot, defeated the enemy and obtained glory. From that dusty courtyard was born my passion for shooting, which led one day to the research and development to create the slingshot made in Italy, stable for precision and manoeuvrability. So as to give each of you the emotion of feeling at least one time in life like a warrior, this is how our company was born, so the project of our slingshot began. This is how Lumbro David Pro is made, the unsurpassable and sovereign Fionda. Made of precious and noble materials, aluminium, brass, precious wood and steel. David, the sling with the Italian soul. The Lumbro product line can boast of a Guinness World Record with Marco Brunetti, three European Championships in teams, single glory by Mario Rondelli, and taking the team's bronze medal out of 22 nations at the world premiere of shooting with the Slingshot, the 2018 Slingshot World Cup. The champion sling for champion shooters. I thank Adam for the opportunity to enter this wonderful magazine, wishing Slingshot World a huge success to become a worldwide reference point for slingshot shooters. A dream is not what you see when you sleep. It's what keeps you from falling asleep. Carry on and keep sling shooting. Oh, that's so Italian, so flowery. So there's the link to Lumbro Sport. And up here, my little welcome to Slingshot World. See this ridiculous thing? Clarkson voice. The most tactical catapult in the world. Hello? My name is Adam Rayner, and I am a slingshot addict. Right away, do please be aware that this magazine is also about hunting and might upset vegans and moral issue vegetarians. We take a humane and respectful approach to harvesting small game and pest control alike. Being British, we call it a catapult. I started aged 12 with the classic thumb pad deadshot frame and square elastic. First three sixteenths, then the mighty Goliath in quarter inch. My right thumb is deformed, bended back at 90 degrees as a result of these formative years' pressured bone abuse. I'm a lifer. There's something wonderful about human-powered weapons, the somehow naughty image of the catapult and their deep association in the British psyche as the weapon of the ne'er-do-well and rascally poacher has always appealed to me too, if I'm honest. Indeed, I confess to some of my youth being misspent in certain ways that had me lying to the cookery teacher at the posh girls' school next door to the lads' one where I did... General studies, cookery option. It's rabbit, Mrs. Flashman. It was pheasant. But that was long ago, and in that time there has been a step change in rubber technology. The crazy flat gum rubber the Yanks used, and which gave rise to the very concept of high power and even hunting slingshots, was never on sale in Europe. A week or two on a boat, a month or three in the shops, and it was as gone off as cheese. No, it was Rubber Town, USA that changed stuff. Akron, Ohio and the Hygienic Corporation, SIC meaning as it's writ, making modern TheraBand resistance rubber for physiotherapists is what changed the slingshot world. In eight coloured grades, their golden best will stretch over 14 times its resting length and lasts and lasts versus pure latex sheet for slingshot band set use. And stone me, it's fast, or rather don't, as stones are illegal for hunting. What Thoroughband Gold has meant is a new world of catapultry. The old primitive squares turned into thick, hollow latex tubes in the late 70s. Nowadays, though, you can get different power, tapered and premium-dipped natural latex tubes, which have also quietly turbocharged the Barnet Black Widow you almost certainly shot back then. Bet you still have it if you're old enough and reading this. And in a circular way, you can now get modern square extruded elastics as against the old cut sheet and many brands of the new super specialist rubbers made just for band sets from folks in the Far East. 
national and local catapult and slingshot associations are appearing all over. We have two in the UK, UKCA and BCA, one in ERA ICA. Now it's all the ESF in England. Four new local clubs in the UK and 21 other nations as far as I have just barely checked. There's even a massive World Cup Championships this year in Italy that we sent a team to. Seeding forums and YouTube channels abound. Folks are pulling off any Oakley shots like you wouldn't believe. We should really call these shots Rufus Hussies, though. Google the bean shooter man, rest his soul. Yet there are no print slash virtual actual magazines about the passion, the craftsmanship, the makers and their skills and the camaraderie of the shoot meets. Nothing about the tech and the technique. No images of catties you covet. Framed for your man cave. Nothing about the primitive satisfaction of hunting for the pot. With only native skill and cunning along with a Y-shaped stick, some mad elastic, a ball of steel or lead and one tiny scrap of leather. Until now. Welcome to the very first Slingshot World magazine.